We already know what our fate is here. Welcome back to Game Class, where we're snowboarding with wolves. We tried dancing, that wasn't working out for us. Maybe an outdoor mountainous activity is for our jam. Maybe. Oh no. What the oh no. Oh no, 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 no. No! Why? Why are you like this? Controller, Why stop. Now? There we go. You know what doesn't help this defective game? A defective setup. <laughs> Going to bat for the game because of our setup. Oh no! Oh come on! Oh come on! I didn't even. <laughs> so new topic of conversation. Yeah. How fucking fast are we going down this mountain? I'm assuming that M is for meters. Yeah. Like, that's... This is a two-kilometer track? I guess? What is happening? What if I do this? Okay. Quick question. Yeah. If you press one way, you keep going like left until you press right, right? Yeah. Do you have to press it once or do you need to fight it to go back? It looks like you need to fight it a little bit to go back. The further you go to one side, the more you have to press it to the other side to go that way. For a second there, I was like, wow, that was smooth and you just ricocheted between the banks. Yeah. Okay, Tony, this isn't a pinball board. Your goal isn't to bounce off of every obstacle. I'm trying not to. Well, you hit the halfway point, you still have half health. So just... The real trick now is to not shit the bed. You're currently squatting, but you haven't shat yet. Come on. Come on just get under control. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, fuck. No. Oh, come on. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. What? Oh, that makes so much more sense. What? When you get hit by their bullets, they, like, you lose a mild control. Okay. This game is like the Dark Souls of fucking, like, <laughs> Mario Party, like, mini-game extravaganzas, okay? No, You know there's some games that are just, like, broken, their mini-games make no sense? Yeah. And they're, like, super, like, trivially easy and you just can't lose even if you fucking try? Mm-hmm. This is, like, the opposite of that. Everything feels impossible, none of the rules make sense. I know. Controller's doing it again. Wow. There we go. Is it not doing anything again? No, it's it's still, it's still working. Okay. I'm just I'm just stuck in bullet land. Oh, I just saw you gesturing wildly with the controller. I thought it broke again. No, I was just ah, I was just. I hate to say it, but I think you're going to need to stick with that one thumb and not put your other hand over there. I think, no, I think, you see the... This would probably be easier well, if I Whenever could... you touch the middle bit, it causes the controller to be sync, I think. Yeah, that's, that's totally what's happening. I wonder... Oh, hey. There we go. You figured it out? You can use the stick. Well, you can always use the stick. I was always using the directional buttons. I was always using the directional buttons because most of the things were just like a precise one press or one way or the other. Like, it didn't care about finesse. 
It was just basically jam left, and I wanted the precision of D-pad. You ready to say we are you say something wildly controversial? Hmm. I think this game would be easier with a fight stick. I'm not really sure that's controversial. I think you might just be straight up correct. Well, I mean, like, fucking fight sticks are basically up there with racing wheels for incredibly narrow, like, use applications. And, like, the idea there might be a second one is, like... I don't want to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> I said something. It's my fault. I'm sorry. <sighs> I'll be silent for the entire next run down the mountain. And thus became the land of quiet. Okay. 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 I think I should just point to this next time someone asks me if I want to go skiing or something. What if we get attacked by basically a crazy hot chick and her two furry goons on snow machines? <laughs> You're just like, what are the chances? It's more likely than you think. Etsuko was just out doing, like, basically her normal everyday errands and getting groceries. I was out grocery shopping, and, like, the next thing you know, I'm on a mountain. I'm wearing basically an apron and, like, a housewife dress. I'm being chased by two werewolves and a random, su and a random seductress. It's just like, what? Why were you dread? Don't ask questions you don't want the answers to. Oh, come on. There we go. Nah. Weird question. Yeah? Do you take damage when you get shot or just when you hit the sides of the course? Just when I hit the side of the course, it looks like. When I get shot, it basically makes me more likely to hit the side of the course. So it's the exact opposite of the fucking stretcher scene. Yeah. Oh. Stop it. Stop. There we go. So you're staying in the exact middle. That's what I'm trying. Disregard rules. The thing that actually makes this hard, other than the fact that the controls are kind of wonky, but like the way, like the way the course itself is actually difficult, is that the course itself moves slightly, and so do the position of the people chasing you. It's actually kind of an interesting way of. Making like of increasing difficulty, like and changing it over time. Yeah. Is that why the balance are wildly gesticulating in the background? I think that's just a, like an over exaggerated like visual effect on top of that. But yeah, probably. Moments like this. Yeah? Well, it's, I feel like I should be talking more. But at the same time, you're in a high tension situation. So I feel like I shouldn't be distracting you. That might be why my performance off screen was so incredibly dominant, was it was just me alone. I didn't have to worry about my position relative to the microphone. I didn't have to worry about recording. I didn't have to worry about keeping up a conversation. I could just button mash and do shit. I mean, like, I used to give, like, um, Let's Players a lot of fucking shit for not noticing extremely obvious things that were directly in front of them. Which is like, I would have never missed that if I was playing this game. Like, yeah, if I was playing this game in my room, basically, by myself, like... Hyper attention, hyper attention to detail, like, all this sort of stuff, but, like, we're pull but then, like, we go and play Darksiders, and I keep making fun of, like, the background details and stuff. Like, let's be honest. 
I underperformed massively in custom Robo because I named the main character Big Mike. <laughs> it was fucking great though. And we just chose to do the entire thing in one sitting. Oh. But yeah, like it's actually kind of fast. Like it's up, like a lot of people. Um. Oh, I'm fucking just wrecking my entire soul now. Let's see if I can't get this under control real quick. See, where's the control stick? Yeah. Uh, I'm not gonna say you're gonna fail. You could pull this out still. Never mind. Can I give it a go? Yeah, sure. I didn't think about the control stick being an option. Your safe distance with a meter becomes zero. Well, that's way more intuitive. Yeah. How fast do you think, you know, like, you know how, like, you do this zigzaggy motion when you're on, like, snowboarder skis or whatever, and it's to, like, control momentum and everything? Yeah. How fast do you think you would go if you just went straight? <laughs> like, the whole way. Hmm. Well, I think in snowboarding, the zigzaggy motion is part of what gives you your speed, actually, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. I mean, I could be wrong, but I don't think so. I mean, I haven't gone snowboarding since I was, like, 14-ish, so... Snowboarding is really on my list of priorities, because it involves dropping yourself to a stick and throwing yourself off the side of the mountain. I mean, that used to be why, part of, that used to be why it was part of my priorities. <laughs> I like how in some ways we're essentially the same person, and in some ways we're wildly different. <laughs> why'd you turn? Why'd you turn right? Okay, there we go. But yeah, like now that like um using the stick, you can reliably get like more than halfway there. Like we get into the final stretch now. Yeah. Yeah, I'm feeling the rhythm now, but I don't want to succeed. Yeah? At zero lives, I... What if the next part is the next checkpoint? You want to go into the next part of Housewife Day with two more family member routes ahead of them with one life on the bar? Hmm. I guarantee you we've underperformed too much to gain fucking more fucking lives at this point. Yeah, that's a fair point. Serpentine. <laughs> yeah. uh, so who is this seductress lady out here just living her wildest life? Yeah, no, because earlier today she was leading a choreography dance group. Uh-huh. And then she bailed because of the globe. I and assume then she to decided come here. to rob a bank, I guess. Like, I assume? That was like... <laughs> okay, how the hell is that survivable? Okay, here, there's a gap between them. You can thread that needle. Yeah. And but they make now, it small. But now there's, like, nowhere to go on either side of that formation. Kid Mike is laughing at us. I swear to God, I beat this game and like a weekend and was like, wow, that game was weird and it was kind of short. <laughs> it might it be is kind of short, actually. More jank setup and everything. But like, yeah, what the hell? To incredible crisis. Like, here's the pattern. I saw this game being advertised in a tips and tricks magazine way back in the day. Yeah. Which, those of you who know, know exactly, well I mean it's a PS1 game, but it's like, you understand like the specific part of the thing, right? It's like, it was tips and tricks or fucking game fan were where I went. Hmm. So, 
Then we have... So, like, I saw this game advertised, and I was like, oh, and I was like, it's a wacky, weird game. And I was like, oh, okay. And then... One day, I was at... I think it was a blockbuster. It could have been a video corner, which is like a local video store that doesn't exist anymore. But, like, I think Blockbuster outlived them. I'm digressing massively here. And I went in, and I'm like, yeah, rent a video game. I was like, I remember this game being advertised. I'll just grab it. It's like, rent it for three days. I got a thing of Pocky. I went upstairs. I went to, like, my room, which I can't remember if it was, like, upstairs or not. Because mm -hmm. we lived in a couple different houses in this time period. But I went to my room, and it was like, yeah, we're not doing anything important. Let's play some Incredible Crisis. And then, like, within, like, I think it was a three-day weekend. I think I got it on a Friday, like, in the middle of the day. And by Monday morning, when my mom went to return him, I had beaten the game. Huh. And it wasn't like I was playing it the whole time, either. Miss those last two. That's about we won. We won. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Is this game just a one long advertisement for that one Japanese ska orchestra? I have no idea why this game was made. Yeah, cutscene we can skip. <laughs> this saves frames on the incredible crisis of speed run. <laughs> if there is a speed run for this game, I, I'm gonna go ahead and Could say. Could you imagine trying to submit incredible crisis to AGDQ? <laughs> It's an important time save where we basically, uh, we're in the elevator. We call the strategy quick balling. <laughs> like, don't bother trying to sa like save too much time during, um, what you call it, like a wait thing, because everything is like, you can't do the next thing until like the like the animations have finished. It's actually kind of annoying in that section. Just channel some pure Game Boy Animorphs fucking. <laughs> Do you remember that one where I it was like awful games done quick and they were trying to speedrun Animorphs for the Game Boy Color? And they were just like, oh, if you do it like this or whatever, it glitches out the thing and sometimes it'll come to shore. We call it D summing. <laughs> Okay, audience at home, I'd like to take a moment to point out that if it looks hard, it's harder than it looks, alright? <laughs> it's at least three times as difficult as you think it is watching this from your your couch, your computer, your phone on your way to work. If you're for, for some god's forsaken reason listening to us while you're doing something else. I don't know what audience Steve. track you think this is. <laughs> I don't know what audio track you're you're trying to put this to because it's just like what the hell is happening? Oh god, I must spread the wall. I wasn't trying to do that. I know you just put things on in the background while you do other things. 
Well, I mean, we're not great audio for that, necessarily. Well, we can be. Like, it depends. I'm just calling a very specific person out, and I know he's listening. Really? Because he doesn't watch our videos very much. No, he doesn't. No one watches our videos very much. <laughs> The analytics page is a sad and lonely place that Tony hasn't experienced much of. <laughs> it's depressing. I think as we record this, we have uh, six subscribers, uh, 1.7 hours of watch time in the last month. Ugh. Oh. Do they have mouths painted on those snow machines? Yeah. They have faces. Their headlights are the thing and they got snarling teeth. Did you I... not notice that? No, I didn't. I was too focused trying not to slam against the wall and failing. Oh. It's like it doubles in difficulty every six feet. Right here, it's just like, oh, it's a big wide open thing, right? Mm hmm. Like I wonder a, if they move on a set pattern. I haven't paid enough attention to them. I think they move on some kind of pattern. I'm thinking part of the reason why they, why you just kind of automatically go in a direction, like, without being able to just go straight, is entirely because. You could probably do this really easily if you just had control like that. You just sit in one spot until you decide to move. Entirely possible. Like, I'm thinking this was purposely designed in that way instead of just being incidental. Everything about this game is a, is a deliberate acid trip and you know it. <laughs> they thought real hard about what they were going to do to them. I like the idea of basically them going, should we have more than one, like... I'm taking damage scream from like like from like each of the family members? No. What? I want them to suffer for taking damage in and out of game. I'm just trying to imagine an entire basically development studio like sitting there, arms crossed, like you know I had to do it to him. <laughs> Are they shooting blinks at you? How did you how do you are you not dying from getting the like hit with a machine gun. His entire family has superhuman endurance or did not notice that her husband got exploded four times. Crushed by a boulder and then like crushed by a refrigerator, thrown out of a building, thrown out of an ambulance, hit by about eighty cars, blown up by a fucking Oh shit, did I just win? <laughs> Holy shit, did you just win? <laughs> What? How was it a B on the first one? I don't know. I think that's a slot one save to me. Okay. Music's kind of infectious. Ska's like that. Ska and jazz. I'm big on jazz music. It doesn't come up often. The Eat enemy from, from without. The... <gasps> well, I guess we better take the jets. <laughs> And fly I like home. how you just knew where that was going to go. I have to get home to cook dinner. Better steal a fighter jet. <laughs> oh. You have a question anymore. You're ready for this game's insanity. <laughs> Looks like Top Gun.
Oh god, we'll do this next time on Game Quest.